Hi ladies, Jackie Sabrin here and I wanted to make you a quick little video about how to beat the holiday blues. I'm getting ready to go to a holiday party and I was thinking about how some of you are sitting at home alone tonight and maybe you're feeling a little blue and I want to talk to you about that. So it's really um, it's really easy to fall into the to the habit and pattern of thinking about the past and painful experiences that you've had, heartbreak, loneliness, starting to really dwell on the fact that you're alone, um, something that happened to you in the past. And it's really easy to start to get into a pattern of thinking about what you don't want. So as you allow yourself to drift into thinking about the past, and it's really easy to do, I know, because there's a lot of emotional anchors to music, to Christmas songs, to Christmas shopping, to people, especially people that are in love, and even like me right now, this could be triggering a response in you. So you want to look at that, because what happens is you don't want to fall into the rut, uh, uh, an emotional rut over the holidays, because the more you think about, the more you bring about. So whatever you're thinking about, you're, you're actually creating. The thoughts that you are thinking today are planting seeds for the future that are going to sprout up in January. That's why it's like warning, warning. You have to train yourself away from thinking about what you don't want or you will manifest it. And so you're going to have to use all of your skills and all of your tools to think about what you do want. If you need to get out a piece of paper and start making a gratitude list about everything you have in your life that is right and good and what is coming, and be thankful. Gratitude is a very powerful, powerful uh, force, and you want to use that when you start getting into that um, negative mind chatter. You get stuck in that loop, and I call it going into the deep end, and then you can drown in there in your mind because you get stuck in there and you don't come out. It could be a couple of days. So instead of parking yourself in front of the TV watching your Netflix series, which I think is a great thing to do, as long as you're doing it and not allowing your mind to drift into thinking about um, the fact that you're alone. And start thinking about the fact that you're going to meet your soulmate very soon. It's going to be so exciting this time next year. You will not be alone. I got engaged on Christmas Day, um, you know, three years or so ago, and I didn't know the year before that that I was going to get engaged on Christmas Day. So if you stay out of the deep end and into the field of the unknown, which is where all the magic is, which is where your man is, you don't know when he's going to show up. That's the unknown. You've got to partner with the unknown and get out of the known zone. The knowns are the experiences you've already had, and there's no evolution in that. And that's why I'm encouraging you right now to – Stay out of the known and flip into the unknown, into the mystery and magic of not knowing. The truth is we don't get to know. And But what you can trust is that your belief system, if you continue to bolster it with these um, little videos that I make for you and all the, the things that I offer you, that you will help to expand that belief system to hold that belief that you're going to be with your beloved very soon. And so I created this online dating um, audio capsule. And what that is, it's a series of um, trainings that I've done, and I put them all on audio. There's also downloadable PDFs so that it's really easy for you to start programming your mind to believe in something you want to experience. So your beliefs create your experiences, not the other way around. So whatever you believe, you're going to experience. And that's why it's really important to start uh, listening to these audios and repetition over and over and over again so your mind starts to believe in, in the what you're imagining, in your vision, right? Because like I said earlier, your mind has file folders, like filled with folders of all of your past experiences. And it's going to continue to pull up those folders and review them as the holidays tick on. And you're going to continue to review all those folders, but I don't want you to do that. I want you to stay out of that file cabinet and start some new files and new folders about what you do want. That's why making your gratitude list, working on your vision, and this is all in my online dating capsule, so you can listen to it over and over again. It's all of the things you need to know to be a successful dater, and it's really life skills. It's advanced adult life skills. You need to have these advanced skills in everything you do in life, and they're going to you know, exponentially fast track you on your path to meet your soulmate. So I'm going to drop in the comment box, I'm going to drop in the link 
you can um, pick up that capsule. This is a limited time. I'm only offering it over the holidays. And um, I want you to take advantage of this because I put a lot of effort into it to help you stay out of the deep end and give you the school, the skills, tools, and support you need right now so that you don't go into that um, victim mode. Victim mode is where you start thinking, you allow your mind to think because you're not your thoughts, that that everything just happens to you and there's no good men out there and and um, you know it, the thing is when you when you when you give up that power by allowing yourself to think that things just happen to you you take yourself out of creator mode out of visionary mode and you put yourself into the victim mode where where you can't create anything. Here's the great thing about creating your past. It's wonderful that you created the life you have because it, if you created it, that means you have the power to create a new life. But if you don't recognize that you created it and you're in victim mode, like why is this happening to me, then you've disempowered yourself. So it's better to take responsibility for all of your choices, and I'd like to turn that around, your ability to respond to yourself. So when you start owning everything in your life, you have power to change it. And that's why it can be very exciting. And so um, I hope this was helpful. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. I hope you start to um, really reach for all the better thinking, better feeling thoughts. Feeling good needs to be your number one priority. When you feel good, you can create anything. When you're not feeling good, that's the indicator that you're drifting, you're scattering, you're zoning out into the into those past thinking, and you have to stop that. Stop. Take a spiritual time out, what I like to say. So I want you to take a spiritual time out tonight. Take a breath. Bring all your awareness into your body because your body's in the be here now, and stay in your body. Root your roots into down into the center of the planet and, and feed off our beautiful planet. There's so much amazing energy there and anchor into that anchor into your body because that keeps you in the now where everything's happening okay so i'm going to drop that link into the comment box make sure you check out my um online dating capsule collection and i want to share a little thing that i'm really excited about so ladies i made this little cape tonight so i didn't have it's not real cold here but it's chilly in california and i didn't want to put a jacket on so i made this um little i found this little um it's just what it is. It's just a, a faux fur. It's just a piece, a strip of like faux fur, just a rectangle. And I and I and I had an old brooch. Remember when brooches were really popular? And so I just pinned it on. And I just can't wait to share it with you. So you can make something like this for yourself. Going to a party. So I pinned it. Pinned this old brooch. It's a dragon. Isn't that cool? I'm going to show it to you. Whoops. Isn't that neat? I've had this for like 25 years. I got it years ago, and I just remembered that I had it. That's why you don't want to get rid of these things. They're dated, but <laughs> eventually everything comes back into style. And look how fun that is. The little brooch there, isn't that cool? It's just like a scarf, and I just made it into a, I don't know, what do we call these? I, I just had the word I forgot. Anyways, I hope you uh, are inspired to, like, get creative with your wardrobe and pull out all of your, you know, older, you know, dated pieces and breathe some new life into them and make that yeah, cape. And so I hope that uh, inspires you to have fun with uh, your wardrobe. And I'm excited about wearing it tonight, but not right now. I'm going to take it off. Or oh, you can do this, too. So I want to share all my little uh, beauty tips with you. And all of my things with you, I'm going to share everything with you. So <laughs> I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And I just want to say hi to Lori. Hi, Scott. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Aaron. Nice to see you here. Okay, so let's beat those holiday blues. Get the capsule. Start listening to it. Program your mind to believe what you want to have so that in January or even this month, it starts happening for you. Okay, because you are in control. You're a visionary. Visionaries focus on what they want. Not on what's happening in that moment. That's what observers do. Observers folk, uh, are only thrive when things are going well, but visionaries thrive all the time. So be a visionary, okay? Lots of love. Night-night.